Happy Monday. Welcome back to Kevin Toll Reads. I am here with another video in the Let Me Know series. The series that hopefully will get you engaged in commenting and asking questions and telling me I'm off my rocker and I'm wrong and which is okay. And so today's topic on this series is, is there such things as overrated and underrated books? Are some books fairly or unfairly over or underrated? Um, I'm interested in hearing what you have to say on this matter, what books and examples you have of, hey, these books are underrated and these books are overrated and why, you know, is... Is there such things that make a book more popular than others? Is it the genre, the subject matter, the the author? Are they an indie author or a more established author with all this cachet? And any, anyone's going to buy whatever they put out versus they have to prove themselves. There's a, a, honestly a plethora of things that could go into uh, what makes a book undervalued or overvalued, overhyped or underhyped. But I'm interested, and I obviously I have some examples for you all. When it comes to books, authors, genres in general that I just feel are just underrated, here's my list. Um, Louis L'Amour. I, I, you just don't see a lot online, on YouTube, on other social media about Louis L'Amour. Obviously, I'm new to him. I'm starting to get some books under my belt, so to speak, and I really enjoy him as a writer. I think he's fantastic. Um, all his books are quick and e easy to read and straightforward, and they're just great stories. Another genre I think is completely underrated is hard case crime. Uh, you just don't see a lot of people talking about it. It's kind of almost niche in a, in, in a way as a genre, but I really feel like these have a lot to offer people. I'm starting to get more reads of the Conan universe under my belt, and I think it's another series that is underrated. Although it's gaining some popularity, Sumerian September, people are trying to, you know, keep alive this mythological character, Conan, uh, talk about the pastiche novels. Um, you know, my friend Steve Donahue does a great job, Michael K., our M Michael K. Vaughn does his channel. He does a great job with Conan representing him, but I still think he is vastly underrated. And lastly, I, I think this is a truly underrated series. The Hitman series by Lawrence Block is one of my favorites. If you haven't read this, I, I highly recommend you, you check this out. I think it's really interesting. It's a very introspective tale about a hitman and assassin and, and, and how he navigates the world and, and all of his problems. And I think it's just well, it's so well done that it's just so underrated in my opinion. Now let's talk about some books that are overrated in my opinion. Now before you cast <laughs> stones at me, some of these books I enjoy and they're written by some of the authors that I really enjoy as well. So I'm not afraid to cast any dispersions upon some of my heartfelt read, reads and authors, but let's get into this. A book that I picked up because it has so much hype online is The Sword of Kaigen. I haven't read it yet, but I am going into this expecting five stars. And so it's hard not to, it's hard to kind of go into things with a with cl clear picture or blind slate, but there's a huge amount of expectation because this book is hyped up everywhere. Another one that was hyped up a lot online was The Spirit Cuts Through Water, and I DNF'd it. Just wasn't for me. So, I read the first three books. I haven't watched any of the show, uh, the adaptation online, but this one to me is completely overhyped. And that is A Song of Ice and Fire. Um, George R. R. Martin, it's fantasy, it's good, don't get me wrong, like, this is good, I, I remember reading the first three books, I enjoyed them heavily, I didn't continue, it wasn't because of the writing, but I think this is so overhyped, in my opinion. One of my favorite authors, that I think is completely overhyped, and anytime he, he launches anything, or says anything, or 
puts on anything on Twitter, I think people just go into a frenzy, which I think is a little much. But again, he's one of my favorites. Stephen King. I think he's overhyped. I, I, I really do. Like, he could put out, you know, his grocery list and people are going to go into a fever about, you know, things. And anytime there's any kind of subtle hints about the Dark Tower or the multiverse, people just get in a frenzy and they have their own theories about it. And I, I get it. I, I, I love the Dark Tower and I love the multiverse as well, as much as anyone else. But enough's enough. And then lastly, one of my favorite novels, Andy Weir, Project Hail Mary, but you see this everywhere. Everywhere. And it's, there's a good reason for it too. Don't get me wrong. This is a fantastic book. I highly recommend you read this. But when we're looking at just purely overhyped or underhyped, this is overhyped in my opinion. So those are my takes, my examples. Again, before you lambast me too bad, I did put some of my favorites on the list. So... I want to know yours. Let me know what are, what, you know, is there such a thing as overhyped and underhyped? And what are your examples? Does it relate to the genre, the book itself? Does it relate to the subject matter, the author? Give me your feedback. I'm interested. Let me know. I'll talk to you guys later.